Anne Marie Waters. This is a message, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. You have made a catastrophic mistake in cancelling the public meeting in, uh, I think it was Bristol, was it Bristol? Your decision to cancel this meeting is a mistake. Now, I don't know who you have around you by way of advisors, but whoever is advising you, they're giving you bad advice, really bad advice. And let me put this in plain English and me. I'm saying something to you that most people won't say, but most people are thinking. You've made a mistake, and if you don't fix it, you're finished. For Britain is finished. It's as simple as that. And this is not the first time you have made a very public mistake like this. This is the third time. There was that... Uh, the hustings years ago you allowed yourself to be intimidated and then there was the social night out the jack the ripper evening you ended up hiding in a, a shop or something and all of this happened very publicly and now you have very very publicly declared that you're calling off this meeting because of intimidation. This is the wrong thing to do, Amory. This is the totally wrong thing to do, and if you don't fix it, for Britain is finished, and you're finished. Now, people won't tell you this to your face. A lot of people won't say it because they like you. A lot of the members are forbidden. They like you. Some of them obviously love you. And they're not going to say something that might offend you. Well, sometimes in life, Anne-Marie, you have to offend people. You have to be blunt, really blunt. You've made a dreadful mistake, Anne-Marie. A dreadful mistake. And the justification was that it could be dangerous. Well, Anne-Marie, it is dangerous holding public meetings and it's going to get more dangerous. That's not a reason for stopping holding a public reason. That's a good reason for holding a public re meeting. You know, Anne-Marie, if people bully you, you stand up to them. If someone tells you you don't, can't have a meeting or they're going to disrupt the meeting, then you hold two meetings. You know, if people don't say, if people say you can't do this or can't do that, well, you go out and do it, and you do it a lot more than you would have. You don't give in to bullies. You don't give in to intimidation. Now, Anne-Marie, I'm an old man, I'm living in Dublin, and I'm a member of the, for, of the Fort Britain Party. But if I was living in Britain, I would go to that meeting, and no one would stop me. No power on earth, this earth would stop me. Nothing would stop me. You can't give in to intimidation like this. The only thing you have achieved is you can guarantee that the intimidation will get worse. As I said, I don't know who is giving you advice, but it's bad advice, really bad advice. You know, Anne-Marie, I attend demonstrations here in Dublin. And if the only way I can attend those demonstrations is by crawling on my hands and knees, I will crawl on my hands and knees. 
you don't give in to intimidation like this. You know, it's very simple. You know, bullying, it's like a risk-reward situation. And you've given these people their award. You've given them what they wanted. It really is very simple, Amory. You don't back down with bullies. If someone says you can't hold a meeting, you hold the meeting, and then you go up the next day and you leaflet the area. That's what you do. If somebody says you can't do something, you go out and you do it, and you do it over and over and over again. Now, I'm not expressing this very well, but frankly, I am very angry. And I'm disappointed. If you want people to follow you, Anne-Marie, you have to lead. And you're not leading. Giving in to bullies is never a good, good idea. You're sending them wrong, the wrong message. You're telling these people that bullying works. You're also telling people generally that you're weak. I'm really not expressing this well, but Anne-Marie, you've made a disastrous mistake. That's a fact. That's not an opinion. And if you don't fix this, Anne-Marie, <coughs> if you don't fix this and fix it fast, then for Britain is finished. A lot of people won't say this to you, Henry. It's very obvious that a lot of people feel a very deep affection towards you. And that's understandable. But people are angry, Henry. People will be disappointed with this. You're not leading. You don't give in to bullies. You don't run away, ever. And the more dangerous it gets, the more important it is that you stand up to these bullies. You've made a terrible mistake, Anne-Marie. 